Hey, I'm Jeff Devlin of Schoolhouse Woodworking. I'm a licensed contractor, woodworker. We named our company Schoolhouse Woodworking many, many years ago because the goal was to teach. Wow, that's nice. It's not always the perfect method, but it's a way that I've learned over the 30 years doing this that I believe sometimes simpler is better. Dovetail number three, pocket hole number two, butt joint number one. So many of you are wondering how strong these joints are. We're going to find out right now. With a butt joint, you got to figure out, I got to see if I can sit on it. If I get a piece of wood up my butt, I'm not, I'm not built for this. Here, there. Butt joint number one. <laughs> oh no, shoved up my ass. I'm trying to break it. You ready? This is my hurling days. <laughs> How'd it fare? <coughs> Did you know that one was coming? That's just throwing it around a little bit, and you can see she loosened up. Now I can probably. Oh, I'm so strong. You can rip it right apart. So keep that in mind when you're doing the joint. <coughs> Pocket hole. Hey, somebody, somebody. That was my football thing, by the way. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Let's see if I can actually stand on it this way. So that's not moving at all. And I've chucked it around. You can see the abrasion on there. That's had time to dry. Now the dovetail, I probably should let it dry a little bit longer, but nah. I have an idea. didn't fare so well if I can find the other side. I think it went way in the back. But it's funny. It didn't. Normally, that's the strongest joint. <laughs> now, this just shows that I got to clean my stupid shop. Where did it go? Yeah, that didn't. I have no idea. It's lost forever. But quite honestly, the glue didn't really set for that one, so I don't know that that's a fair trial. You can see the dovetail is still intact. It just, when it whacked against the wall, it came apart. And the glue is still kind of wet, so that kind of wasn't fair. Sorry, dovetail.